I'm Bai Shaver. The title of the piece is Faith as Small Matter. My name is Michael Grothusen, and this is my sculpture, and the title of it is Self-Portrait by Weight, Not Touching the Floor. I've been doing word pieces for a number of years now, probably about 20 years. What happens is I get a chance to do a show, and then I try to find a phrase that sort of fits that space. Uh, the work is in a series I've been doing on and off for about oh, 15 years at different points. And it begins with an interest in taking information and working with that information and deciding if you kind of uh, believe in it as a fact. And I like to take things that are supposedly factual and then like science and then bend them to my own needs and my own expressive ends. The phrase itself comes from um, kind of just rumination of trying to figure out how how we exist in this world. And it's always interested me that the idea of faith is this thing that we sort of take for granted, that the idea of beliefs are contingent on how we have to survive in this world. And I like the idea of sort of transmuting that idea into, into a tangible object. So the, the ingots that you see moving in the background here, taken together collectively weigh as much as I do. And the reason I wanted them not touching the floor is I was thinking about this idea of the body leaving the, the earth, frankly, um, or leaving the ground, depending on where you, your mind goes, and thinking about what happens when you do lift off from the ground. I think with all my art, it's really, it's really just a moment that separates from the world. That is a moment to, to um, step back and reflect and think about like, what you're looking at and why you're looking at it and how it impacts your life. Um, I think my work is best sort of seen in the background and, I, and I've always liked the idea that something was happening in front of it. I think there's things in most of the work that I do that elude uh, secondhand documentation like video, conversation, still, still photography. And I always like to make things that require that the viewers see it in the present tense, that it demands something of the kind of um, attention from the viewer that isn't casual. 